so I'm just going to start the live stream immediately as it shows up. So, hello everybody, my name is Ruin Eldred. I know that normally I do Hogwarts Legacy on Sundays, but this episode is going to release on Monday, given that we have like a half an hour before it's midnight. But welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy if you missed the last episode. And you're watching on YouTube, you can find it in the index card up above. We're going to go run some side quests before I go to the school in the morning. We are going to find where the lovers died. I think that's what I'm doing. I should probably look and see what I'm doing because it's been a good like three weeks. I'm also here audibly with Rosgris the boss boss. Use the map with floating candles to find the treasure. Hello, everybody. Sorry, I was I didn't actually include my uh voice yet. Forest Persian candles. I've put it in my bag for reference. All right, so I need to get back to the open forest area. Map forest, 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 forest. Check Dawes too. Travel. Travel to the Forbidden Forest. And then I just gotta find a bridge. Uh, there's a bridge at the beginning of the Forbidden Forest. I don't know what quest you're doing. Um, it... Is... Even if you tell me, I'm not gonna know, so... Don't... It's just been a long time since you've played Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah, and then Katie's the one who uh, finished it. Ghost of our love. The map portrays a forest, bridge, and candles. Put the map in my bag for reference. How do I fucking inventory? I would assume it's in inventory. Yeah. An award for excellence in herbology. Letter to Fig. Ancient pages, study. Map with floating candles. There we go. Bridge, two floating candles. Um, we gotta use that spell, Illuminos. Is that what it is? I need to move shit out of my sight. Uh, I don't know, so man. You're like, I didn't play Harry Potter. Stop asking me questions. Grid, that's how I do it. Um, 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 um. There we go. Lumos. Lumos. I need a candle. Do I just do I just walk through the forbidden forest with the Lumos activated? Oh, oh. candles. I found the Under enchanted candles. Head. And I found another love letter. My dearest Apolline, uh, Apollonia? Nia? Apollonia? Would you care for would you care to join me for a picnic? I know you enjoy a good Cornish pastry almost as much as you enjoy a good mystery. See you soon, I hope. Yours, Richard. All right. We got the floating candles. Lead him this way. The candles seem to be leading into the forbidden forest. Yes, let's go on a romantic picnic into what? The forbidden forest. What seems to be in the forbidden forest? Forbidden stuff. Who's not gonna listen? These dumbass lovebirds. Oh, golly.
Oh, I see you down there. Lumos. Oh, yep. Leading me right where I don't want to go. But I did get some imps down. Extreme danger. Isn't that seem like a romantic place to go? The treasure must be nearby. Oh, there's I a candlelit dinner here. Treasure hunting suits me. Treasure seeker's scarf. Well, that was easy. And I didn't have to fight any spiders. Behind you. <laughs> I was literally just thinking about that. Professor Sharp wants me to test myself while under the influence of both the Maxima and Duras potions. I know... To find the potions and rest My friend, I hope you have a wonderful night. I shall call it have a good the night, end bro. of my night. night. Well, everybody, that's it for David's little contribution into our affairs. August Mead, I need to go to J. Pimpin. Shop, three broomsticks. Follow the butterflies over her pursuing while they're talking to herself in three rooms. She knows not about a swarm of butterflies. Uh, overlanders. Alright, tomb of the squirrels. That's where I need to go. I need to go to the potion shop, which I doubt they're going to be open at night, and I just now realized that. That I need to kind of probably go during the day. But. Here is to hoping. The potion shop will be open. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Hi Perry Pippin. Um let's see what you got here. Thunderbrew. Focus potion. Oh, Underberry, Invisibility, Maxima. Do screw up? Buy what I can from you. Endurus. A wise decision. Endurus, Wingworld. Maxima. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Alright. So I know I need to use those. Oh my god. Okay. Get to Hogwarts. Oh cool, I can look and see what stuff I got. Astronomy tables, zero. Available quests. That's interesting. Give you guys statues. Field. 50. Damn, dude. I do not have a lot of stuff for any of the areas I am at. Alright, let's look at the... Well, I mean, I am still in the beginning of the game. Let's not... Is the Great Hall. It's mead. Here we are. Oh, wait. Wait to advance time from day or night. No. Um. I just want to get back to my wing. Grand staircase. Trophy room. Grand staircase. Ravenclaw! I hate taking such a long hiatus from this game and then trying to jump in and, like, learn everything that I need to do. Because I don't do it well. Alright, 
Let's get to my room so that way I can sleep into the next day. So that way I can do my classes. This is not my room. Is this not where I sleep? It's where I get my mail, but I do not know anything about sleep. Drop one more floor. I guess I am going to just wait. Yeah, because I would like it to be daytime. Bam. All right. Let's go to broomstick class. So I don't have the level to lockpick yet. Beasts class. I need to look at this. Got a cat door on, on there. So this was a lot dirtier. Shoes organized. Our vanity. Right here is stuff that we're putting up tomorrow wherever she wants it. Her desk is horrible. I had to scrape it. Frog tank. And her bed. So many damn squish. All right, there we go. Time to get broomsticks. Oh, we're gonna learn how to play Quidditch, even though it's not a function in the game whatsoever. Off on another trouble. adventure, are we? Who do you think will fall from their broom first? Everybody Probably grab me. A broom and we I suck get at started. flying. I'm vertically challenged. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. Almost this I mean, idea, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Yay! Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's <laughs> see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! This would be like my favorite and most petrified now, part your turn of being a wizard up up, up you stupid ratty school groom well i got to say up up i got such a basic broom one leg over so there's a leg on each side none of that side saddle nonsense a gust of wind will throw you right off don't side straddle If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay. 
Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. Wish I had my the own. The rooms are school property. I want ah. them returned in <gasps> one piece. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I sure hope so. <laughs> well done. Now that Thank you're you. traumatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? I love how fast you learn stuff in this school. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Haha! <laughs> Brilliant! This is really nice. This is gonna make traversal so oh, much easier. The old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. It's okay, I watched Harry Potter. I experienced it in some way. I still have one final Amazing Beasts movie to watch, and then I've seen Whoa. everything Harry Our Potter. Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <gasps> that was pretty cool with the Kraken. I do think when you're going in speed, it is a little tanky. I've got this. But I mean, the last time I've been on a broomstick was like PlayStation 1's Harry Potter Quidditch game. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett yeah. Compton. I know so, who you are, Everett. You, you are a, a high -flying friend. friend. I like the sound of that. I can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Zoom. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is ever flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Huh. Oh. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Yeah, My I've already been up there. This is quite the tour, Everett. If the teacher goes to yell at me, I'm just That's gonna simply whistle. say he gave me. Our tour. Best hurry back. Been? <laughs> oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. Damn. As for you, you do uh -oh. well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Ah. 
that was very constructive teaching and scolding. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. Oh, yes, they were. I have no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. How many but house points do we have as Ravenclaw? Who is winning Melda? this this school He's year? He's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwich is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Creepy. If I could afford the new Bright Spark broom at Spintwitch's, I'd be on it now. All right, that's up to I do you. I like Madame Kagawa. She's been tutoring me after class. Although she is very strict when it comes to broom safety. That's good. Madam Kagawa, about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Ravenclaw should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. Now, hmm. Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. Oh. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Nice. Oh, oh. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. I would because I would like to buy a broomstick. Please the 7th floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. <gasps> I'm gonna get my special room. Move. I just tried to tap the center part of my Xbox controller like it was a PS5 controller to open the map. In the shadow of the Undercroft, I could probably find Sebastian at his usual spot near the Defense of the Dark Arts. Figaro. What's this? The room of requirement. I'm gonna go there first. I'm gonna do the room of requirement because I really want that because I want to start collecting mythical beasts, have my own like setup to plant plants and do my potions. I want to have my setup so that way I can start doing things. Accio that up. What am I supposed to do? How do I do the Revelio? That's how we do it. Excuse me, I got to find Professor Weasley. Incendio. Um, um, um. Okay, cool, cool, cool. To I total recall. Just want to make sure I have different things in different spots. So those two are done. There we go. Put that, get another page. Rebellion. That is pretty cool. Aesthetically, this game is so pleasant on the eyes. All right, let's begin this quest. 
Professor Weasley. Oh, man. Hmm. Somewhere mm. away from prying eyes. Revelio. Just do a Revelio. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Thank you. Shall we? We oh, shall. Really open this room would manifest its way in my place? own bedroom, this but is hey. the room of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student Revelio. might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Oh, he must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help ah. you use the room once you... Rebellion. Found. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You oh. can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. That's gonna be very useful for things. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's go. Cool, because I have a bunch of it. Something Where right over in here. Whose name is that elf? Don't know, but I found something right here, Miss Weasley. Is that hey, I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more that. inches of parchment than you I expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. Sincerely, T. Can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Rebellion. I'll give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Yes. Oh my God, I can move freely. you keep it down some of us are trying to rest my my bad so sorry and goodbye I can't tell Lumos That's just been sitting here forever. <gasps> oh, it's a path to jump Revenue. up.
Aha! Chest! Light Herbologist hat. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! What? No, not us! That's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! Oh, thank goodness. Repair I was hoping to repair. Rebellion. I was gonna be nice. Repair him, let him try to refight me. Okay, it's just the box. Wanted to make sure. Trim this tree up for the room of requirement. Rebellion. Collect. Bit offended by. Bit offended the room. Thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. Uh oh. Bit offended that the room thought I needed a bath. I butchered that. Being an iron worker. Okay. A blacksmith. Rebellion. That's the word I was looking for. Iron worker. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? By complicatedly? Rebellion. It is giving me quite a bit of moonstone. What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Revelio Lumos. Mm. Just gonna play everything to annoy the people in the room. Rebellion. I hope that house elf can find us in there. Crap, don't tell me I just screwed myself. Right. Look around. Rebellion. You're smart. You are very, very smart. Accio. Gardener's robe. Rebellion. Hey, I guess I've needed to look up as well while running around here. How the hell, Rebellion? That up so high. Ah. 
I didn't know I could do that this whole time. Get over here. Revelio. Any other out of reach things? Every day is just a learning lesson. I think I did all I needed to do there. I think I don't think I could catch the golden snitch as much as I'm wanting to and I'm like looking at it really wanting to do it. I don't think I can. Oh, there's a little house elf. If I give you a sock, will you be my Dobby? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered Damn. this room. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Well, thank of you. Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> 
brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, Interesting. it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. But am I always going to have to go to that wall to access it? <laughs> you know, it seems a little dangerous using magic like this as a, like, you know, first time magic user. Not that I want to jinx myself in any way, but I don't want to die here as well. But this is cool. You've given yourself quite the canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, me too. And it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar Hedwig? items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You have unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal the magic properties of any un unidentified gear. Nice! You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Nice. Speak to Weasley. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I plan I'll to. give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room conjuring. might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. I'm really learning a bunch of magic here. Very good. All right. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough Go resources lay down. for now. I see. Go lay down. Can I regain I resources you by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm. Quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical right, plants and brew potions in class. Um, we're just gonna right away trigger it to you. Potions. Go potions. Well. Dude, that's cool. Okay, so we got small scientific potions. Potions. A small botanical. Small electric. Cool, I can actually see which each one looks like before placing it. Kinda wanna go botanical. I feel like that looks the best.
Oh, I can change the color of stuff. Going right there. Apology. Okay, we gotta go you there. Well, but purple, because purple you, is you, my favorite you color. Need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. That's so sick. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered <clears throat> this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Uh, yeah. If, if you're going to be giving out free spells. Medium rugs, small planter, Dittany. Sure, I'll plant some date me. Uh. Weld, focus, thunder brew, accuracy, spent invisibility. Alright, we got that there. I'm Lesson ready for Weasley. the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts I'm grounds. sure I have Return a lot of Moonstone. Return to me stone. once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Yeah, I'm back. I have the Moonstone. Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? What's I got for herbology? Okay, I had those. Wall hangings, what do I got? Winged mirror, oval mirror, and long mirror. <clears throat> Artwork. We have the Nephilim Witch, Gazing Wizard, Dapper Wizard, Bickering Couple, Gazing Witch, House Elves and Mistress Portrait, and Nurse and Baby Portrait. 
missions. We have the scientific standing light, botanical, electrical, and gothic standing light. Do I have furniture? I have no furniture. Rugs, medium, botanical, gothic. Floor decorations, and let's throw a more botanical rug. going on with this rug, man? Maybe it's just... It's been a little bit. Okay, I can't place that rug. We'll get over it. Seating, scientific chair, botanical chair, electric chair, gothic chair. Well, let's go ahead and put a nice little chair there. Purple one right there at the herbology. Change visuals. We got the gothic chair. And yeah, we'll put it right there. Oh, we got a table. Come on. What's this? Seasonal decorations? Christmas tree and jack o' lanterns? Ourselves and other ones. There we go. more floor decoration. Let's go ahead and go utility. No, where is it? Was it in furniture? Table. Alright, Miss Weasley, what else can you teach me? Everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? 
Could you know Watch now? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand. Conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Gothic. Just the size of an item. How do I do that? Practicing. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly chair. on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony while the same. Dude, that's super cool. So I got just like one really botanically up area and then over there I just wanted to be like very gothic Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Bro, you just got some, like, candy? Professor Weasley you share that? ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Ambience, I like some natural empathy. Cool moonlit ambience. I'd like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learnt a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. Ooh, sorry. Just slapping my is mic over here. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. I just love how this room is ever-changing. 
and just expanding and opening up more and more and more. And you could decorate and customize everything and in it, dude. It's so cool. Space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. Dude, this is the this coolest is thing ever. Now. Use it wisely. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of my space. Shoo. I'd like Deke. to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, perhaps another time. really want botanical like a whole section just dedicated to botanical mess over here my gothic wall. What did you do? Kinda cool. Gothic. Oh my gosh, that's cool. It's over here. There's like so much to explore here. Botanical, electric window, gothic window point. Gosh, dude, there's just so much here. I want to enter my astronomy tower. Dude, that is so cool. I gotta admit, that is just really freaking cool. Rebellion. Okay.
wait, what am I waiting for? Quests. Learning Curse with Sebastian. That's a sharp flight test. One telepoint available. What is that? Enemies near target summoned by Okio. Shields. Spells. Core. Stuck with superfire man stunned. That is a good trait to do. What dark art stuff is there? I need to learn how to do lock picking, damn it. Alright. Let's go to Hogsmeade real quick. Let's travel. Ugh. Finish off a little bit of this stuff before we close out the stream for this Sunday. And then I start recording and getting stuff done for Monday. Was before I invented flu powder. Revelio. I'll figure out how to beat these locks, I swear it. He's like, oh. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Revelio. What's his sporting needs? Let me just steal from your shop, because obviously this chest. Let me really try to increase your game. Hi. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few yes. rare U weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spint witches. Terrible it's been. 
Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently, criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, <laughs> back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Some cheap. That item is of the highest quality. Nice. Hogwarts house. Moon trimmer. The wind wisp. That item and is of the Eber. highest quality. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. All right, let's sell some stuff. Nice doing business with you. Since my inventory is full. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thank you Whilst for the broomsticks. Broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class. They all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancement. Go on. Always. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As I'd happens, be happy to. Another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. You're welcome. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special prize. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've Ooh. beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, let's... Demanding delivery. What are you? Follow the butterflies. Ah, <sighs> can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Revelio. Gotta love that little click sound. Oh, that's Ollivander. Greetings, Mr. Ollivander. I visited the Owlery, as you suggested. Oh, it's the intrepid Oh yeah, young the Jackadaw. Well, what did you find? Was my inkling correct? It was, but I don't think either of us could have predicted where I'd end up. Most intriguing. Where did it all lead? I met the ghost of Richard Jackdaw this himself. Ties, this he ties into, into the, the last episode. Wand in hand. Astonishing. So, he was the culprit. And? I did indeed find your family wand, but it was in pieces, beyond repair. Ah, well... I suppose I'm not surprised after all this time. Most unfortunate. But there you have it. In any case, you have mine and my family's thanks. At least now we know what happened. I shall tell them what I've learned and what you have done for us. Cool. Rebellion. Fucking 
hear the little ding. Okay, there's some stuff to take up in here. Reveal yourself, parchment! Alright, where's the staircase? Nuts! Mead! Free items! Run before she charges! Wigan Wield Potion, that's always nice. And 50 fine, or 55 doublets. Eventually, I'll learn how to lockpick, man. Can I just jump off the balcony? Enable my broomstick? I don't know. Talk to Clementine Willard. See, I think that's how you pronounce Pardon her name. Me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine Willard. See, charmed. I was gazing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. I went there's giant freaking spiders. I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes. If you wouldn't mind. Damn, Jim. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Follow the butterflies. The butterflies always seem to be on the scene. Rebellion. Anyone ever knew how to keep money? I saw a page, I know I did. Rebellion. What a well. That's what I love about Hugs Made, man. There's always stuff here for me to find. I could just spend hours here searching for things. Alright, before I leave out of here. I'm gonna go here and run the package for Mr. Ollivander. Or not Ollivander, but Pippin. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. What can I do for you today? Nothing on the sorts of that. Farewell for now. Hello, Mr. Pippin. Hello, you Mr. needed Pippin. a delivery? You need help with a delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Uh, 
happy I'd to be help. happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisible people that best you on requested. You. Hopefully, she won't give you too much. Trouble. I want it. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Oh, one day you can talk about me like that. I make good, good potions. Alright, it looks like I don't have anything else in this area. Mm. No. What? Shadow of the Undercroft. Look around, what do we have here? The flight test. Oof. Keenbridge. Alright. I get to test my broomstick flying. And that will be the last thing I'll do in this. Can randomly open the chest that we see here on the island. Wool, broomstick. It's nice to know I don't have to swim everywhere and that I can fly. So much danger around here. the Merlin thing. I cannot thank you enough for all you did to get my arms returned to me. I've been painting and painting. Incredible how such darkness can inspire such beauty. Savage, Icarus, Mandrake. There we are then. That'll do nicely, I'm sure. Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, be sure to visit me again, won't you? town.
love how I immediately hear big wings and I'm like, oh, I can take it. Rebellion. What's this place? The Tilted House. Just steal these people's food. Rebellion. I'll probably just burst into people's homes and just steal as much stuff as I can from them. Always make that pitting. Okay, I'm sorry ma'am, he's not late. Hi Fatima. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably Damn. do it better than he can anyway. Why are you picking on my... Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would right? seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Oh? Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Drink an invisibility potion, eh? It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us have to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You what can you tell me about more your more customers? customers are trying to stay out of sight? Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Very, Very well. well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. May I you see your wares? What, what do we recipes do you got? You don't have recipes, you just have ingredients. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. The tales of Beetle the Bard still ring true today. I wonder if I'll ever find that golden snitch in Bodmin Moor. Always been keen on Keenbridge. Hang on to your valuables, that's all I'll say. Rebellion. We are Ginger Root. House elves are Wizardkind's best friend. Always has been. Damn it, I hate bees. Run before the beehive gets you. Rebellion. Mm. Hmm. 
Seems a pleasant enough little place. A little storm cloud, that's cool. What's in the chest? Potion recipe book. Alright, yeah, we can't get it there just yet. Alright, we are gonna go to Pippin. We're just gonna drop that off at him right now so we can conclude out this episode. Because we've been going for an hour and 33 minutes. And this is gonna be a direct export. <clears throat> so, yeah. Also, I forgot I've still been recording this whole time. I could stop my Roxio capture device because I got the point of which I want to make the template discovered. Harry Pippin! Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Uh. Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Kingbridge. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? I stole fa- Oh. I had no idea it was hers. Some things are sacred amongst potioners. I shall return it to her immediately. What can I do for you today? Oh. That's good to know. I just stole I from Fatima. Again. Farewell for now. My bad. Um, well, everybody, I'm going to end this episode here. I know this was supposed to be a Sunday episode, but it's going to come out at like 2 o'clock in the morning Monday, so it's still technically Sunday. I haven't gone to bed yet. You guys may have, but I haven't. I really hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. If you did, hit the like button. It lets me know you guys are in a demand to see more Hogwarts Legacy. I'm going to keep streaming the game as of right now because I am thoroughly enjoying this, and the Room of Requirements was amazing. I'm going to have so much fun with that because I love customizable spaces and like your own little home areas. It's so cool in games, so I'm excited to see more of that. Um, if you missed anything in the Hogwarts Legacy playlist, you can find it in the bottom left end screen annotation. I will be linking other Sunday playlists in the other end screen annotations. Make sure to hit the bell icon to be notified when videos come out, and I will see you in the next episode. Toodaloo, everybody.